Hello again. As soon as you see these, you'll know exactly what they are because there isn't anybody out there who hasn't had the experience of these particular booklets. But you may not have seen them. Oops. You may not have seen them like this before. It's been homebound by somebody into these stiff covers and gathered under the handwritten description Operational Aircraft 1939-1945. It's obviously been put together in late 45. Possibly by a kid or something similar. It can't have been put together for an observer, i.e. somebody watching the skies over England for invasion aircraft because it contains Japanese aircraft. And I think it's safe to say we didn't get very many Japanese aircraft over Britain in the Second World War. But it comprises uh, 13 of those World War II aircraft spotter booklets that were issued by the Aeroplane magazine. Um, and as I said, they've all been bound into this one volume. Now, this one is British and German airplanes, but the cover of the particular booklet has been glued to the cover of the book. But as soon as you see the contents, you'll know exactly. You've seen these on eBay before. Um, normally, as individual little booklets, they would retail at between five and ten pound a piece i've seen them priced higher than that but the price i paid for this roughly comes out at each booklet if broken down cost me four pound each so that gives you an idea of what i paid for it so that's kind of aircraft identification part one and then as soon as we find a cover to one of the other ones you'll again know exactly what booklets they are Let's see if we can find a cover. One coming up, there we are. Aircraft identification part two. Troop carriers, seaplanes, British trainers, British and German. And it goes through them all. Originally, these cost about five shilling per booklet. And we're coming up to another one. Aircraft identification part three. And it's nearly a complete set. There's maybe three issues missing. That's Italian fighters, bombers and seaplanes. And then if we skip through, we have aircraft identification part four. American types for the RAF and if we skip through again aircraft identification part one British monoplanes and we'll have another zip through to the back of this one Aircraft Identification Part 2, German Monoplanes. And Aircraft Identification Part 4, American Monoplanes with the RAF. And this covers become detached. And so we go through. And we have... Aircraft Identification Part 5, Japanese Airplanes. And then there is Part 1, Airplane Recognition Tests. What are they? And then we have Airplane Recognition Test. What is it? Part 2. Price sixpence. And then we have airplane recognition test. What is it? Part five. Did I say five shilling or a shilling? Sixpence each. That's what they cost. And then we have airplane recognition tests. Part six. So there's quite a lot of booklets. And the, the back cover for this last booklet is glued to the back cover of the homemade hardback. So they 
roughly worked out at about four pounds each 13 i've had them before in the past but i've never really kept them because i've never really had enough to build up a collection but i thought one lot of 13 in one go not bad at all so that's another little item probably will go in one of the ref uh, display cases bye for now